Hello, uh, my name is Muhammad Zubil bin Baha and uh, in this video, we will uh, discuss uh, static equation example number two, right? Example number two, all right? But before that, uh, uh, we must remember back uh, since the equation that we will use in this case is the static equation, all right? With the uh, dp uh, over dz equal to minus minus rho g okay so now let's continue with the example number two all right and let's go and see what is this example number two okay oh, this is example number two all right for the tension determine the reading of the uh, bottom pressure gauge in kilopascal in the top of the tank is vented to the atmosphere all right it's almost like the example uh, example number one Okay, but example number one, we ha just have one layer of fluid, but this time we have two layer of fluid. Okay, and the same concept will be used in this case, all right, to solve the problem. Okay, first of all, all right, first of all, um, the the equation state that uh, the uh, pressure we are looking for, all right, the pressure that we are looking for is the uh, a gauge pressure right so a pre uh, a gauge pressure all right don't forget that we have this gauge pressure all right so we are looking for a gauge pressure okay all right so now we are looking for a pressure at the bottom somewhere here okay and call it as a point three for example all right call it as a point three and then uh we once again, if you want to solve this, okay, if you want to solve this, we need to find another point where uh, the pressure is known, all right, the pressure is known. So, in this case, the, the first place that we can uh, sure that the pressure is known is on the free surface somewhere here, which is open to atmosphere, and you know the P ATM for a gauge is equal to zero pascal, right? Uh, zero pascal, ne? or zero kilopascal, okay? But the problem is we cannot compare a point three with a, a point, we call it point one then, all right? We cannot compare point three and point one, all right, directly, because why? Because, all right, the rule to use the equation of dp, all right, uh, if you can remember the dp, all right, the dp dz equal to minus rho g. All right, if you want to use this dp, you mean uh, dp dz minus rho g. Number one, the rho must be constant. All right, number two, both points must be in the same fluid. All right, but in this case, you see that it is not on the same fluid because at the top here, uh, the fluid is having the sg, if you can remember the sg, a specific gravity of a fluid of 0 0.885 while at the bottom here we have a wall we have a water okay so we cannot compare 3 and 1 directly but we need to find another place where uh, both points are in the same in the same fluid so the best place is uh, is the surface between the water and also the fluid at the top so we call this as a point we call that as a point two, okay? So we call it as a point, a point two, okay? And then, uh, in order to get a, a P3, so we uh, determine the value of uh, P1 and then P2, and then after that, we uh, determine the P, P3. And don't forget, uh, we need to determine exactly where should we put the Z axis. So where the Z axis will start. Okay, so why don't we uh, set the z axis starting at point 3, alright, so this is the z, okay, so it starts 0 there, okay, and over here, we have a 2.5 meter from the bottom, and at a free surface here, the distance is uh, 1.2.5, 1, and then you got 4 uh, point zero meters is it correct okay 2.5 plus the 1.5 all right and you got uh, okay uh, uh, 
2.5 plus 1.1.5 okay which is equal to 4 meter so 0.1 actually is 4 meter above all right above the uh, p p3 okay all right so now let's go and uh, we try to solve this okay and let me see oh done with this okay so all right so now uh and now we write the dp uh dp all right we said okay from point one we go to point two so you write it as a, a dp dz is equal to minus rho g okay and this dp dz is actually is a p2 minus p1 okay is equal to minus rho g all right and then you have your z2 minus z1 okay and a fluid uh, between one and two is not water all right so the fluid between one and two is not a water and then so you need to uh change this row here all right so this row here is a row of fluid so uh, we don't have the row of the fluid in this case all right but we know that the sg of that fluid is equal to uh, which is a 0 0.85 0 0.85 which is equal to rho of the fluid divided by rho rho of the water or you can write it as the rho of the fluid is equal to all right 0 0.85 rho of water so rho of water every time when we write a rho of water you don't have to write it rho h2o all right so by default we know when we see the rho it is our it is a water okay so uh, right back into this equation which is equal to uh, minus uh, 0 0.85 and then our rho g of water is 9810 and then your z2 in this case is z2 is uh, 2.5 minus the z1 which is uh, 4.0 4 okay and uh, we have this uh, p2 all right the p2 minus the p1 is equal to 2.5 minus 4 all right and then uh, time this uh, 9810 and then time 0.85 all right so you have a uh, 12 all right point of 51 kilo pascal all right this is a p2 minus p1 okay p2 minus p1 equal to 12.51 kilopascal but we know the p1 is open to atmosphere all right when open to atmosphere the p is equal to equal to zero so automatically we can say the p2 is equal to 12.51 uh, kilopascal okay we're not done yet because we are uh, looking for p3 okay so uh, from two now you go to point three all right you go to point three and then uh, the p all right looking at that equation there you know that p3 minus uh, p2 must equal to all right minus the rho g the flip between uh, two and three and then you have the z3 minus z2 again all right and your p2 or the minus uh, this time we have a water minus uh, 9810 and your z3 is zero and z2 is a uh, 2.2.5 okay so uh, uh p3 all right in this case p3 uh, is equal to our p2 which is equal to 12.51 uh, power of 3 and then minus this uh, 9810 all right and then uh, minus 2.2.5 okay so p3 is equal to all right, uh, how much is that? 9810 times uh, 2.5. All right, and then uh, plus another uh, 12.51 exponent 3. Okay, so you have that uh, P3 is equal to 37 point, uh, 37 kilo, kilo Pascal. That's our P3. All right, so it, it's logic because why? Because uh, point three is below than point one, 
All right, since it's below 1.1, uh, you remember that every time when you're going down, uh, the pressure must be in increase. All right, at the top, the value of pressure is equal to zero when it's going down. So the pressure now increased to 37 kilo kilo pascal. Okay, all right. So now, if you want to, uh, if you want to make yourself more uh, uh, familiar or more understand. Uh, how to solve this problem, all right, related to uh, what we call as this uh, uh, static equation. Why don't you try, all right, why don't you try to uh, change the location of, uh, the location of this uh, z axis there, okay. And uh, probably you say, okay, the z axis, why, why don't you try uh, start the z axis uh, from, for example, from here, all right. The z axis is here, starting from that point. Okay, and then you try the z axis started from this point. Do you get the same answer? All right, do you get the same answer? So you need to play around with this uh, to get yourself familiar uh, with this uh, particular uh, problem because when you understand it and you feel uh, comfortable, uh, whatever you put the z, all right, then you will feel. Uh, the the beauty of this equation which you can use everywhere and anywhere uh, even though uh, the, the the diagram is quite complicated okay so I think uh, what you need to do next is just uh, try it again all right try it again by yourself and then change the uh, change uh, the location of the z axis and then uh, try whether you can get this uh, 37 kilo pascal okay so by then i think uh, we stop here and i see you again uh, in the next video